So let's get some flour. Well, I'll start putting that through. And a big pinch of salt. The baking powder. Sugar. And we put some more flour in. I'm doing well there. That went through quickly. I think I'll get that in there. Nice. got to do this twice. So we've got to do it all up, keep going, we've got to pass it all the way through there and then we've got to take it all out and put it back in again. Can you remember Hannah, how we already did this? I'm going to put the butter in and then you're going to rub it in with your fingers. Can you remember how we did that? Yep. It will get sticky, my darling. That's why I've got you to do it, so my hands can stay clean. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, oh, my excuse is stuff then. Take it in your hands, lift it up and rub it like that, over the bowl. That's it, try to keep it in the bowl. And again, nice and gentle. You'll get about 12 out of this. And if you want perfect scones and no waste, you can just cut them straight into squares. We'll let it relax and then we'd cut that either into squares or traditionally you'd use a cutter and you'd, you'd cut it with a round cutter. But you shouldn't re-roll it more than once after the initial. And that's going to go in the fridge. Leave that there for 10 minutes just to cool down. Put it onto the work surface. And get a flower on the top. a nice three centimetres thick. Right, that's ready to cut them. And now what we do is we take a cutter. This is a six centimetre cutter. And we're gonna cut straight down. And as it comes out, just gently place it onto the tray. Well, they look beautifully cut on the tray now, my darling. 
So to finish them, we have to paint them with egg wash. So I've just dry the brush a little bit so it's not too wet. That's it, scrape it on the side of the bowl. That's it, scrape it, scrape it. That's it. Now I've brushed the top of every single one of them. Love them, like that. Shall we get them out of the oven then? Yeah. I'll help you. Yeah. Wow. Well, 